Is Northern Lion streaming today? Today? <clears throat> Let's do take two. Is Northern Lion streaming today? I don't know, DL Guiga. Are you uh, riding today? Can't help but notice DL Guiga been real quiet since yesterday's stack dropped. We were all high fives on, I can't remember whether it was Wednesday or Tuesday. We drop a nightmare stack for Thursday. DL Guiga says, oh, I'm only going to be there for one hour. Wasn't there at all, at, at least as far as I could tell. Wasn't there today either. I mean, it's just uh, me, Keith Jr., Moomin Rider, Nautical, eight other people. Oven Heat was there. CD Viking, etc. So, oh, well, you got a good excuse. Good excuse. Oh, uh, my partner's eight and eight point seven five months pregnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? That's fair. I was doing zero biking at that point too. I understand. I'm just you. You raz me. I raz you. Turns out they wait until your wife is eight months pregnant to make you work at the office until 11 p.m. every night. All right, that, listen, delete that. I don't want you to. I don't want your boss to be watching this. That makes me feel bad for you, and also because I thought many times I've said that no American office gets anything done from December first onward. But I guess the last th few days have not been December, so that makes sense. Today, on the other hand, <laughs> are you in the clear now? Hey, DL Guigo, what are the odds that your child is born on Christmas Day? I'm not trying to get too parasocial. I'm just low. Due date is end of January. Okay, that's fair. They need the valuations for their end of year reports. I know how it is. You ever notice when you look up analysts' opinions on a stock? It's literally like 95% buy or hold and then 5% sell and then like a day later the company is like we're going out of business and then all of the it goes like 95% buy and hold and now goes to like 95% sell like I thought you, these people were supposed to be in front of the news man they're literally they're synthesizing the news and then putting their headshot next to it no offense the ugly I don't know if that's what you do by the way so I don't know if I should be saying no offense. I do mergers and acquisitions. Real, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not deep enough in the, in the guts to know basically what that means. I know what it stands for. I don't know what it means. Is it a hard time in mergers and acquisitions because of the... Uh, they turned off the fire hose of capital or credit, I guess I should say. Or does that make it easier as a result of there being more distressed corporations out there? That's a good question. Didn't everything already merge? There's like four websites left on the internet. Aren't you worried that you're like so good at your job that you're putting yourself out of business? Then they carve them out. That's true. I guess you merge and acquire and then you go, wait a minute, our stock is kind of like dying. So you group together like all of the shitty parts of your company and then spin them out into a corporation. Maybe you might know it as Viatris, for example. And then uh, you're like, hey, look at our new lean company. They're like, um, I'm hungry. I'm going to buy all this stuff. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. We're doing a great job. We're acquiring lots of stuff. And then they go, oh, we're freaking bloated now. Cut out all that stuff that we bought. Cut out, cut out all that stuff that we bought. Mmm, we're nice and lean again. Yum, yum, yum. We're so lean. We could afford to buy some stuff. Mmm, mmm. Buy some stuff. Yummy stuff. Oh, we're all bloated. Oh, cut it out. Cut it out, man. And what's messed up is that it works. I don't get it. It feels like it shouldn't work, but it works. Like, D.L. Guiga, maybe you could explain to me why the American consumer, American consumer thinks we've been in a recession for two years. But meanwhile, the American consumer has also, on average, increased their spending 6% over the last uh, year over year. And don't give me that outliers destroy the median sort of or the mean statistics 101. I already told you, I don't know what that means. It's 12% inflation. Bro, you, you, you got the wrong uh, base effects, bro. Inflation's like 3.2% right now. It was like 11.2% last year. The base effects are working, the base rates are working against you. Let's we'll see what DL Guiga thinks. 
Americans spend more even after adjusting for inflation. They're just crazy for goods and services. I unironically, the older I get, I swear to you this is true. I'm going to get minus two to oblivion, except by real American patriots. The older I get, the more I love America. And I mean that with like a genuine light in my heart. The less I want to be like uh, an exception. <laughs> this sounds like such a backhanded compliment. The less I want to be exceptional relative to the norm. And the more I find myself getting older and wanting to embrace community and comfort and, and pleasure and, and hedonism and stuff like that. The more I'm like, oh, I'm starting to get this country, man. The more I eat dessert, the more I'm like, you previously I'd be like, why would you eat dessert? It's ridiculous. It's not worth the calories that you pay for it and blah, blah, blah. And then like, you know, I talk to Americans and they're like, it tastes yummy and makes me feel good. And I'm like, hang on, let me give it a try. Holy cow. They're on to something, man. You really spend all Sunday watching football? Seems like a big waste of time. Yeah, but it's fun. Wait a minute. Hold on. They're really on to something down there. 1992, 1.5 billion views. My, my thoughts, they should let you guess one time before you even hear it. Because I just want to say, I'm guessing this is smells like teen spirit. Although 1.5 billion views seems a little high. I know Nirvana's very popular, but still, let's see, drums. Hanging round. Dow down by myself and I got too much caffeine and I've been thinking about myself and there she was. Might be a little off on the tempo. Is this, it sounds crazy. To me right now, this sounds like the cover of Easy Sunday Morning by Faith No More. But um, that's not in there. So I'm sure I'm going to know it. 92, one and a half billion views. That started the whole world laughing. I, I, this... It's so obvious, but I don't know. Give me guitar. Give me guitar. Oh, I like that, though. It's got that sort of like uh, eraser head type sleepwalking little walking steel guitar. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Give it to me one more time. G give me the voice. I don't know it. All will always... Okay, 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 okay. Whitney Houston, I will always love you from the Bodyguard soundtrack. It's Whitney, bitch. It's <laughs> so true. That one stings. I feel like I, I should have gotten it a little earlier. I do hear a lot of Whitney on the Peloton. I do not hear a lot of this on the Peloton. There's a lot of, um, I want to dance with somebody. Um, I, I, there's just a lot of Whitney in general. But yeah, the instrument, it, it's crazy how when you strip out the vocals, it really sounded like a 1950s song about like, um, you know, your boyfriend dying in a car explosion, right? Like, up when you get to this point, this is like a slow dance at a, at a 1950s school dance. They're all hopped up on lead paint. It is a little Twin Peaks. I like this vibe, though. I, I, I like that, like... Hey, let's go back to the 1950s, but with a little bit of a twisted David Lynchian lens. I'm not about like the 90s. I always get, I wouldn't say in trouble, but I catch some minus twos for this bit. This is how you know I'm honest. I'm not afraid to say something like I don't think Back to the Future is that good. I think it's fine. I, I think it's, I, it's not even fair. I think Back to the Future is pretty good. I just, I, it's crazy to me that... 40 years after it came out, it's still like the most popular movie in my demographic. But anyway, regardless, maybe Dan's demographic. 
I like it when they go back to the 1950s and it's not like just pure Americana, like Dwight Eisenhower's kicking the shit out of the rest of the world. I like it when it's, they go back to the 1950s and it's like, there's some good stuff to get nostalgic about, but also like, it's pretty messed up, man. Like they just built a nuclear bomb like 10 years ago. You're really going to go to the malt shop with that in the back of your mind? I mean, we got to do something, I guess. What else are you going to do? You know what's a mind-blowing thought? You watching a YouTube video, eating dinner, and hyper-scrolling through your cell phone at Mach 25 has the same level of enjoyment as your great-grandfather sitting in an easy chair, listening to the radio, and reading a newspaper simultaneously. The further we go as a society, like, do we really ever enact meaningful emotional change on the individual level like that. I bet grandpa was at the damn factory making sparks or whatever. And in his brain, he's like, oh, I can't wait to go, go home so I can turn on the radio and read my newspaper. <laughs> yep. Sticking out your gut for the Rizzler. You're so skibbity. You're so phantom tax. I just want to be your Sigma. That's, that's damn true, librarian. That is damn true. See, now this is a good... Um, dull. It is nine questions of trivia. Some of them are cultural. Uh, there is one movie and one music and one television every day, but there's also three sports ones every day. Now your chat is going to freak out because it's made by Barstool. So what you're going to do is not tell them. That's, it's been working out for me up to this point. Known by a lights out nickname, and celebration. This Chargers outside linebacker led the league in sacks in only a second. It's Sean Merriman, dude. Finally, my mid 2000s San Diego Charger knowledge came in clutch. I can't believe it. Philip Rivers, Ladanian Tomlinson, Sean Merriman, Antonio Gates. Ask me and ask me anything about those four players, as long as it's what position did they play for what team. What Eastern Conference team were the Celtics playing against on NBA opening night 2017 when Gordon Hayward fractured his tibia less than 10 minutes into his Celtics debut? That, that's rough. Kind of the Aaron Rodgers of the NBA. I remember seeing clips of it on Twitter. Um, I'm going to say that they put the Celtics against the Knicks on opening night because it's a classic rivalry in the East. Fair enough. As at the peak of Corcovodo Mountain, Christ the Redeemer is in what country? It's every uh, sports question is like, how many chicken tenders did J.J. Reddick eat at lunch uh, on St. Patrick's Day when he was at Duke in 2007? And then every geography question is like, name a country that starts with B. Brazil. Okay, this, Apollo, this might not be for you. This is like my personal favorite trivia category, celebrity mashup. That's Keanu Reeves mixed with Wynonna, Wynonna Ryder. That's a, a pretty easy one, to be honest with you. I'm telling you, we, we try to do frame one every day. We did get one wrong, but that's because Reese Witherspoon and Elizabeth Banks have a very similar skull. 29 years old. This act, I deal, Guiga, look away. This actress has racked up four Oscar nominations for Atonement, Brooklyn, Lady Bird, Little Women, who is Saoirse Ronan. This famous hip hop group, No Sleep Till Brooklyn. Okay, I mean, this is like, that was literally on the rides today, boys. We'll take eight today. NBA question kind of tough. Bro, Barstool fans are not beating the allegations. That's seven, not eight, whatever. <laughs> Hardest question, name uh, one of the greatest actresses currently working today. They said, 63% of people said, I don't know. Store, outlet, market. I want to say mall, but a mall is like a, and this matters sometimes. A mall is a collection of stores, not a single, okay, what places, places to shop. I should have gone one level of abstraction up. Monkey wrench, something's wrong with me, bro. Thread, wax, tweeze, shave. Thread, ways to... You can... Threading hair removes them? It was an easy one today. It does. You can thread your eyebrows? I've never heard of threading, but... Uh, 
That's why you solve an easier one first, I guess. That's because you are male? Oh, sorry. Don't know what you want me to do about it. Like, I also, my eyebrows, like, I don't know what we're doing here. They broke the mold on the eyebrows and the eyelashes. These are, this disaster. Body, complete disaster when it comes to hair. But the eyebrows and the, the eyelashes, they did a great job in the, in the bakery on that one. What are you talking about? I'm saying I got pretty eyelashes, bro. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Costco to brought hands today. Shark Performance Ultralight Corded Stick Vacuum with Duo Clean. Okay, here's the thing. Uh, Shark, I think, is like a... It's a mid-priced vacuum cleaner. And this dude is corded. It doesn't even have like one of those tanks that generates a tornado. So I think this is actually going to be on the cheaper side. I remember I bought a Dirt Devil vacuum in 2013 from Walmart and it was $18.99. We're going to apply in, uh, inflation to that and we're going to assume that, I mean, this is performance, not range. So we're going to maybe amp up the price another few percent. But I would be surprised if this was more than $59.99. Let's start there. $89.99? All right. Well, we got it, but I'm not proud of myself. I only know groceries, man. I don't know. We had the same vacuum cleaner for like eight years. What vacuum do you use now? It's the Dyson cordless one. Dyson, yeah, there, Dyson stick vac. It was like eight people predicted it. No way that thing's like 200 bucks. I don't know. It was, I bought it in 2015. I don't remember how much it cost. Or were you like 14 years old when that happened? Would you recommend it? I don't know. It sucks up the dirt pretty well and has been running for almost a decade. It mounts on your wall, which means it has a space-saving profile. And it's cordless, which means you, could, you just get one of them and you kind of like pick it up and take it upstairs. I know you can take like a heavy good vacuum upstairs, but this shit is like annoying. You're probably gonna vacuum less as a result of how annoying it is. But the vacuum guy on Reddit told me that after Dyson, oh, shut the fuck up, dude. That guy's not real. You're not real. I'm not real. None of this shit is real, okay? Man was not meant to know that much about vacuum cleaners. You just pick one and stick with it, okay? Grandma was okay with the dirt devil. That's all I'm saying. I'm a shark man. I just couldn't believe a corded vacuum with no tank was $200. I thought those were all like, when I say shitty, I don't mean like that you can't use it. I just mean like, I thought you kind of want like one little vacuum that's like for, for tiny messes. And then you want one freaking huge like bicentennial man vacuum that's like when you really need to clean the place you plug it into the wall and as soon as you turn it on your lights dim like you got one for like every day sort of like the kid knocks some cheerios off the dining room table and then you've got one for like we're gonna clean this fucker warner brothers third week 76 million a crime drama thriller starring jack nicholson shouldn't have even Looked at the, the department. Shouldn't have even looked at the cast. Wasn't necessary. The Departed. I watched this in uh, the dorms with like eight other people. And I remember when the, all this stuff happens at the end. One of the girls legit hit us with a, well, that just happened. Like, what was the point of watching the whole movie when that's going to happen at the end? Some people can't appreciate true cinema. I mean, she was like 17, I guess. I'll cut her some slack. I'm going to judge her like literally 17 years later for the fact that, for something she said offhand. But anyway, hope she's doing great if she's watching out there. What are you talking about, the vacuum cleaner? Open to 10 milli, starring Ryan Philippe. This is a problem. Starring Ryan Philippe. Philippe. Tagline. They fight for their country, but they die for their friends. Jesse Bradford. That's the main actor from Clock Stoppers. 
Let's just reveal all hints on this one. By Clint Eastwood. Okay. Oh, why, what's up with the? This is um, Flags of Our Fathers. It's a good movie. Not as good as uh, Flags of Iwo Jima. Not as good as that one. I didn't know the cast was so cooked, though. Are you okay, honey? She's okay. Sony Pictures, 70 million, holding steady at the box office. <laughs> Do you want to come downstairs? Do you want to come down and say hi? Just make sure you hold the railing, okay? All for one, one for all. It's an animated film. I have no idea who Martin Lawrence was in the animated movies. No. Hi, honey. How you, here, come sit on my lap. I'm so funny. I'm so funny. Are you funny? I try to be. Let's play upstairs. When I'm done with work, let's play upstairs? Yeah. Okay, that sounds good to me. Do you want to say hi? Hi! <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Boog, a domesticated 900-pound grizzly bear, finds himself stranded in the woods three days before open season. Holy cow, how many open seasons did they make? 20th Century Fox opened a 7 milli. Is this starring Zach Braff? Allison Lohman, 2006, post Matchstick Men pre Drag Me to HE Double Hockey Sticks. A family drama. The biggest dreams take the most courage. I just don't know it. Starring Tim McGraw. Katie McLaughlin decides to work on her family's mountainside horse ranch, although her father insists she finish boarding school. Katie finds a Mustang in the hills near her ranch. The headstrong 16-year-old then sets her mind to tame a Mustang and prove to her father she can run the ranch. But when tragedy happens, it will take all the love and strength the family can muster <laughs> to restore hope. This movie was called Mustang. Mustang. Mustang? Is it kind of horse or a kind of car? This, I, I'm just going to give up on this one. I, w there's no shot you ever would have seen me guess Flicka. There is a 0% a chance that one's, I don't think I've ever heard of it, and it has very little to do with the context, because I'm assuming it's the name of the horse. <laughs> Stop it. Stop what? Stop talking. Stop talking? Yeah. What? I got to talk. That's my work. Based, based, based. Do you see this? Do you see Flicka? Yeah. What's she riding? I don't know. Take a guess. I you take a guess. Me take, I know what it is. You take a guess. No, you. You take a guess. What kind of animals do you ride on? Horse. Horse. Good answer. It is a horse. How about, what animal is this? Bear. Bear. How about this? It does look like a giraffe. Animation wasn't that good in 2006. That's a deer. How about this? A That's a skunk. Yeah. And then this on the log? Uh, who is he? You see him right here? Yeah. And who is he? That's a bunny. And then on top of the log, who's this? A beaver. A beaver. And who's flying in the air? What kind of bird is it? <laughs> Bless you. A Tweedlebird. A Tweedlebird? Yeah. This isn't my singing monsters. I'll have to use bathroom. Oh, it's okay. She just came down here and she said, you're so funny. And then like a minute later, she went, stop that. And I said, stop what? And she said, stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> here you go, honey. Go have some fun with mommy, okay? Come on. Come on. You want to sit with me? Yeah. You can sit with me for a minute. I like to sit with you. Go away. 
No, hey, don't tell mommy to go away. I wouldn't care that. That's not nice. Well, I'm going to be honest, there's no shot we're doing Sine 2 Nurdle with her on my lap. There's also a very small chance that we're going to get movie to movie done because I can't see my keyboard. You can? <laughs> All right. Can you type uh, Peter Dinklage in? Don't actually type anything. <laughs> I should. <laughs> here, let's go. Here, here. Go with mommy. mommy. I'll see you when I'm done work, okay? Come to mommy. We'll have some fun. <laughs> You're going to have more fun with mommy, remember? Aren't you going to go to the store? Didn't you want to get a pink fuzzball? Oh, you need a jacket because it's cold outside, right? Okay, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> I was laughing because uh, we were talking in the Peloton Discord about how, like, oh, I, I said, like, you have to go really hard on your FTP test. And then someone said, yeah, no problem. I'll just tell my toddler that I'm too sore to play tag later. And I say, you know how it is. You just have to play tag anyway. And then I relayed an anecdote from when I was hanging out with her last night. I'm like so tired. And she's like, let's go lay on the bed. And then we go to my bedroom. She lays on the bed. I lay next to her and she says, the, the bed is for girls only. And I say, okay, what should daddy do? And then she says, um, you can jump up and down on the floor. <laughs> okay, honey. It was like one eye, like 80% closed. She's not even looking. She's got like the blanket over her head. If you stop, she's like, why'd you stop? And you're like, oh, man. <laughs> this is chrono photo. This is like extremely 2000, 2000s coded. Like, look at how thick this boy is. This laptop is like four inches thick, bro. Look at the screen. There was a weird era of like curved square screens. <laughs> what do they got in this? I know they got a barcode scanner. You know what this is? This is a school. This is probably how they check out computer lab equipment is via this scanner. At my school, we had an old lady with a three ring binder, but at... This school, they've got like some electronics wired into the damn system. By the way, no smoking in the computer lab, kids. No smoking in the computer lab. But then look at this TV, bro. How are the kids in the back supposed to see all this thing? Oh, man. I'm going to say this is... It's freaking me out, too. This kid's really allowed to wear a hat in class. What's next? Go to the bathroom whenever he wants? Like, I thought there, there used to be standards when I went to school. I think this is 2006. It just has like a, like a 05 to 07 sort of vibe to it. Like, the lighting is so 05, 07. 2009? Bro, come on. What are we doing? What are we teaching these kids, man? It's also crazy to think... That, what are we teaching these kids, dude? All, all these kids, like, let's assume they're like nine right now. They're 23 now. <laughs> Horrible funding for this to be 2009. What are you talking about, man? They all got laptops. They got a barcode scan. Okay, the TV. I'll give you the TV. I mean, I wasn't in school, in high school in 2009. I was in high school in 2006. Our shit was way more decoded than this. Each one of these laptops probably got billed out to the taxpayer at like $3,000. Holy, bro. If you look like this, DM me. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I got to feel like this is in the 1920s, 1911, basically the 19. What the hell is this, bro? It's before TikTok existed. Just one weird kid on your block, have him strap on a helmet made of old jog straps and run into the side of your house. He's, I don't, I, you can reverse engineer like the physics on this. He looks like he's freaking zooming, man. I'm going to guess this is 1922, 1912, basically 1920s. This is uh, Franz Ferdinand. 
also known as Michael Caine. I should get a microphone that looks like this, dude. Wait, no, 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 it's not Franz Ferdinand. This is uh, the, the king who abdicated. So that was in like 1932 or something. I'll take that. I'm guilty of always being a little bit ahead of the times. Shh. 1985? I, I was going to guess 1984 for the joke, but... Not bad. Not great, but not bad. We were at least like within a decade most of the time. You know they had to hit him with one today. Did you see the photo of um, Henry Kissinger and Obama that's been resurfacing since the death of Henry Kissinger? Where the dude is like built like the co-op robot from Portal 2? It's literally just like a huge head on a sphere and then two sticks coming out of it. It is. He, he had mind-boggling proportions. <laughs> Troll face in the back. I don't want to insult anybody in this photo. If they're still alive, they could probably drone strike my house. But so it is. It's Richard Nixon, um, and it's Henry Kissinger, and then like the most obvious Secret Service agent of all time. But maybe that's what they're going for. And then the buildings look orthodox. Did Richard Nixon ever go to the Soviet Union proper? I'm going to assume they had to, you know? I'm going to say this is Moscow. In, and Nixon was like in the 70s. I'm trying to think Jimmy Carter was like 70. Well, Reagan was 82, which means Jimmy Carter was 78. Means Gerald Ford was like two years in the middle there, 70s. So Richard Nixon, let's go 1972. It was 1972 in Moscow. Okay, we'll take that. Holy. <laughs> uh, this is England. Let's just call this London. And this is like 1996. It's 1992. A group of boys walking nearby Anfield football grounds minutes after kickoff. The 90s kind of go hard, man. I, I think I had every single piece of clothing on display here. I definitely had some lime green track pants. I definitely had like a baseball style zip up. I don't know if I ever tucked in my big country sweatshirt into my track pants, but, <laughs> but this kid, dude, I mean, this, the nylon jacket with the lollipop is quite a look for uh, like a nine-year-old kid. And then the dude in the full set track suit, look at this, dude, look, he's stanced up. I feel just seeing this makes me think this is Australia. And then I see that this is called Chemist. So I'm just going to take a stab at this. Australia oftentimes can trip you up. I'm going to say this is Sydney, Australia, circa, this looks like 1977 to me. It is Sydney, Australia, 1981. We take those. Juliet, this is France, I'm assuming. Look at her, she's so crazy. This is it. What is this? What is this guy doing, David Blaine? Or is this Louisiana? Is this like Mardi Gras? Because like these capris are screaming. Some of this, these fits are screaming like American college students. 2007, 2008. I'm going to, I think I'm going to. Pull it back a little bit. I'm going to say this is French America. Also known as Paris, <laughs> 1999. <laughs> All right. Well, we overthought it a little bit. We overcooked it. Hey, still crossed 40,000 though. It looks so un-American. I don't know. It kind of looked like a little, it looked a little American to me. Dude in a backwards hat and a flannel shirt, khaki shorts, shithouse drunk on Natty Light. 
climbing on top of like a statue. That's America, baby. It's Canada too. You'd be shot if you climbed a statue in New Orleans. Not in 1999. They'd make you the damn president. You're more likely to die of carbon monoxide poisoning with furnace heating. I don't know. That sounds like a psyop. It, this cat came right back, and he's going straight for the courts. I need to get a. I need to get a door for this office, bro. It's too much. You could. There's like almost anywhere he could be and not cause problems. He's like, I'm gonna go straight to where the problems get caused. Have you tried giving him decoy cords? I don't know what, um, listen, you're just trying to be nice, okay? I don't know why I'm being an a-hole about it. He is my pet. I can't structure my entire home around his brain. That's just too much, you know? Like, I gotta do, I gotta live my life. I'm taking care of my family. I'm taking care of my kid. Like, I'm, what am I supposed to do with decoy cords? Go get, a, like, a a bunch of random miscellaneous cords and just chuck them on the floor. Shit's going to mess with my feng shui, bro. Now, this is also messing with my feng shui, which is why I wish he would cut it the fuck out. Plenty of places for him to, to play around. We got tons of cat toys, cat beds. You can sleep on the real bed. You can play with the cat toys. You can go behind the monitor. I have no problem with him behind the monitor. I'm just saying he needs to smarten up a little bit. He's smarter than you. He doesn't need to work. No, we're the same level of intelligence because he's still stressed out. Like, bro doesn't even have a, any bills to pay. And he's still like, some days will be like, Tomo, what's wrong? He's got like a little stress rash around his mouth. I was probably like, because I think it's just, it's not just human psychology. I think it's all animal psychology, right? Like your problems scale in severity to the world around you. So, like, his whole life is just, like, sleep, eat, get petted. But then, like, if something messes with his eating, like, if Ruka ate too much of the dry food, then he's, like, having a crisis. We would probably be in the same position. We'd be like, Gronk ate too much of the dry food. Ugh. It's ridiculous. Humans get Pavlovian trained, too. Whenever you hear your name in public, you get neuron activation in the brain. That's damn true. I actually feel very blessed that Ryan has fallen somewhat out of favor as a name. At the playground, you don't hear a lot of parents going like, Ryan, Ryan. But when it happens, it, you immediately go like, Mer. Also, I don't know if other Ryans can relate to this, but it used to, to happen to me all the time in school because the sound of chalk on the chalkboard sometimes was like, and I would go like, right? Hi, I'm Orion. This doesn't happen to me. Yeah, let me guess. You fucking silver spoon motherfucker grew up in Princeton, New Jersey. Probably went to a school with the damn smart boards and shit like that. At the very least, you probably had a whiteboard with a dry erase marker. We were still rocking Great Depression era chalkboards where, you know, they had the big, the long, the foot long Costco hot dog eraser that like as soon as you touched it, it just chalked the shit out of your fingers for like four days. It was like after you eat a white cheddar Quaker Oats rice cake, like you were looking at your finger like, what the heck did I touch? Then you beat the erasers together and like 42 years later, every single one of your classmates has mesothelioma. That's what we grew up in, bro. That's what we had to deal with. So the eraser somehow makes the board dirtier. That's damn true. And then like... The pencil sharpener got bolted to the wall during the Great Depression. And like sometimes you would get one that was like tight as fuck. And you put your pencil in there and it came out like a damn syringe. Sometimes it would be like half screwed in. And every time you crank, you lose like 90% of the power just to like the rattle of the pencil sharpener. You're like, oh man. They still use those? Anyone here graduate from elementary school in the last 10 years <laughs> they still you still using the bolt-on pencil sharpeners or you hit your knuckles on the wall. i forgot about that who is they had no idea what they were doing 
when they were installing that shit in 1931, bro. They put the crank like in a perfect, a child's hand can't even turn the crank without getting bloody knuckles. Like, what are you doing? Just put it on the other way, bro. They were the best working sharpeners. I'm a huge um, believer in the fallacy that everything used to be better. That being said, the day your class got an electric pencil sharpener and you didn't have to use the crank anymore, that was like one of, that was almost as good as lice checking day. And you put the pencil in the electric sharpener and it goes like, and you pull it out and it's got like a perfect sharp tip on it. That was electric pencil sharpeners. They broke the mold when they made those, dude. Lice day sucked for me. POV, you had lice. I'm sorry, it's kind of like punching down, but like Lice Day was fucking, it was like a trip to the spa, bro. What are you talking about? What the fuck is Lice Day? You guys don't, they don't do Lice Day anymore? Once every two months, uh, like assistants would come into your class and set up a chair at the front of the classroom. And then all the kids in the class would take turns sitting in the chair while like the other lesson went on and then the assistant would take like a toothpick and comb through your hair to see if there were any lice and the shit was like a scalp massage bro it felt so good and then like right after lice day like three kids would be sick the next day and you're like what's up with that let's not ask questions it felt nice, man. I had hair back then, obviously. So they're like, you know, they're kind of like searching through your hair. I, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a little kid trip to the spa. You know what's crazy to think back? Is that I grew up in rural Ontario and I had like 32 kids in my classes every year. When we got vaccinated, 32 kids got their shots, man. Signed permission sh uh, sheets. Not a, you would assume, looking back, there would be like at least a couple of dissenters. There were, it was people were bought in. We would just go to the room, watch Winnie the Pooh one at a time. They'd be like, enjoy not getting measles, mumps, and rubella. And I'd be like, take me back to the room. We can watch some more Winnie the Pooh. They were given the shots in school. I definitely had a few shots in school. All my shots were in school. Nah, bro. Like, I don't want to make you feel bad if you have a needle problem. Like, you, you don't like to think about yourself getting stabbed with vaccinations. You probably had, like, 30 shots before you were three years old. They really, like, once your baby comes out, they're really, like, come down to the clinic. There was one, I guess, in North America in the 80s and 90s, we got, like, the the HBO vaccine, but in Korea, they were still getting like the NBC vaccine. So there's their vaccine for like childhood diseases and stuff like that was a 12 prong needle that they would like put in your shoulder or your butt cheek, and then they would shoot it in. And like adults now still have scars from that. I had that when I was like three. I still got the shoulder hole. <laughs> My parents have that scar. I'm telling you, we're living in a living world. It's living history. Do they still do chicken pox? I heard they got vaccinations for that now, but I had the hard ball at 20 years ago. I feel cheated. Sanest boomer. <laughs> I mean, I'm probably older than you at this point, but I'm stoked for you if you don't have to go through chicken pox. But do they have a chicken pox vaccine? It could save the... I mean, it's not like you gained anything by going through chicken pox except an immunity to chicken pox, right? Uh, but also a vulnerability to shingles forever. Like, I went through chicken pox. I don't have any, like, you know, valor over it. It's really... I should be thanking my parents. Like, I went through it, but they're the ones who remember it and actually did stuff. My ass was just itchy. Isn't getting chicken pox as an adult a death sentence? I think it just, like, sucks really... Or, well, because there's chicken pox and shingles, right? Shingles is like a resurfaced existing chicken pox infection. Is there also just, can you get adult chicken pox or is it just, it's shingles all the way down?
I got shingles as a 20 year old, it's horrible. So you guys screwed the most, because you're like basically, I don't mean this with disrespect, but you're basically still a kid. My uncle got shingles, but he was like 53. And I was like, that makes sense. Like, I'm not saying I have no sympathy, but like, you're old. <laughs> you know, you got chicken pox 48 years ago, forgot about it, and then it was like, surprise! <laughs> I just came back to show you how I'm living. But like, you got chicken pox, and then like eight years later, they were like part two, like Avatar. That's fucked up, man. Did you see Dan's Wordle? I, I know he's half trolling and half quarter trolling. Like, so, like he's, he's tro it's trolls on top of trolls. Let's put it that way. It's like uh, DreamWorks at the movie theater. His first word is daddy. So already he's only got three letters covered. And then after that, he says, which perfectly cromulent guess, I think. Then he says, what is Phoenix? F-E-N-I-S? But I did love the people saying, like, please don't use daddy. It's a horrible starting word. And then I'm like, you don't know who you're talking to. <laughs> like, if you're starting to... We should just take that. You're starting from the principle that Dan has any desire to have, like, a good wordle technique. Which he certainly does not. What he wants, to, he's willing to throw... 15,000 attempts at the wall until one day it is daddy and then you find yourself getting dunked on in the clip. It's like for Dan, a hey, deal, you know how it is. Dan has a huge concentration in his portfolio. His portfolio is not well diversified. You know, it, it's not uh, diversified by market cap or industry, sector, geography, anything like that. He's 100% he's all in on the POG stock. Maybe even like a 3x leveraged POG. So when the NASDAQ is down 1%, he's liquidated. But when it's up 25 basis points, his net worth is like, it skyrockets. You'd look sick with some bracelets. Why are we just out here like lying to me? Look sick with some bracelets. What are you talking about? It looks sick with some bracelets. What kind of bracelets specifically? are you talking about? So I can go out and like maybe take a look at them. You'd look sick with the Cuban Lynx necklace. I don't think I could pull that off. <laughs> Unless, well, it's nice of you to say. It's very nice of you to say. I don't think I'm a jewelry guy. Um, I'm not necessarily anti-jewelry. But I think as a man, you, well, as soon as you put on jewelry, you've like picked a lane, you know? You're either like, because there's so many types of jewelry that are associated with a specific kind of man. Obviously, like enormous chain is associated with hip hop culture. Um, open shirt, graying chest hair and gold necklace is like professional in the pornographic arts. Bracelets really is like street magician meets YouTube prank channel. What is it? What do they call this? <laughs> The David Draymon, as soon as you get one of those, you gotta be like uh, into new metal for sure, which I, I'm not sure I can go with. Well, it's not the soul patch is the hair, but then you get the, like you can get this pierced with like a ball bearing, like a chin piercing. That's true, I don't want all that ice to weigh me down on the Peloton either. <laughs> Fuck up my watts per kilogram. If you wear too much, you look like Dave Navarro. That's true. What's crazy is in like 2004, I would have been like, that doesn't sound so bad. He's married to Carmen Electra. And now I'm like, ugh, that's not really for me. That wouldn't really be authentic. <laughs> I'm not saying fuck you if you wear jewelry. I'm just saying, look in the mirror. If you're a man who wears jewelry, have you picked a lane? If not, teach me your secrets. Teach me how you can still be a polymorphic man with like a tongue ring, okay? Because I feel like you gotta, you gotta spec into the class to get access to the loot. You could wear a wedding ring, okay? You could probably, you could definitely wear a watch. Although I do think in the modern, I'm not trying to be a hater, okay? But in the days of cell phones and smart watches, when I see a dude wearing a real watch outside and he's not like 70 years old, I'm like, you're a real estate agent. I clocked you as soon as I saw you on the damn block. 
It's a Saturday at 11 a.m. You're wearing a three-piece suit. That's a real estate agent without a doubt. Then when I see a dude in a, an old hoodie and shorts and he's wearing an Apple watch, I'm like, CEO of business. That guy is, his net worth is like 17 commas deep. I also think you get one piece of neckwear related to your religious affiliation that is not necessarily considered jewelry. When I see someone wearing a, a chain with a cross or a rosary or something like that, they don't become a jewelry guy. That's just a, it's just a guy. What do the atheists get? Sunday mornings. It's a good deal. I've never complained about it. Listen to this Redditor motherfucker. What do the atheists get? My coworkers are getting emphysema and lung cancer, but they also get a 10 minute break two times a day at work. Is this fair? Bro, think long term a little bit for us. Just relax, okay? Have some, have some empathy. Oh, son of a bitch, fuck you! Yi Bei Li Shang Ju, fuck you Li Bei Chi Shang Yu. Let's get it going, have some empathy folks, but this. <laughs> what do you say fuck me for? I go outside and play, or caramelize a candy cigarette. Catch me going outside for my smoke break, pulling out the Dalgona from Squid Game. Channeling Elon Musk a little bit. Go fuck yourself. <clears throat> try to blackmail me with ads? Try, try to blackmail me with money? Go fuck yourself. Nobody laughs or applauds whatsoever. Go fuck yourself. Is that clear? Hi, Bob, if you're in the audience. Um, but there's a public perception that that was part of a apology tour, if you will. That were, this had been said online. There was all of the criticism. There was advertisers leaving. We talked to Bob Iger today. I hope today. they stop. You hope? Uh, don't advertise. You don't want them to advertise? No. What do you mean? If, if somebody's going to try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go f*** yourself. But go f*** yourself. <laughs> is that clear? I, I hope it is. Hey, Bob, if you're in the audience. And in many ways, dude, the, the, the feed cuts out. In many ways, what Elon got right was... This, how long is it, by the way? How long do we have left on the road before I have to wear sunglasses everywhere because the first cyber trucks go out? Because I guarantee, assuming they're rolling out in Canada concurrently with the U.S., brother, Vancouver's going to be cyber truck central. Okay, so I'm going to, I got to get a new prescription pair. It's already sunny as fuck driving down like West Georgia, with all the glass towers like exactly harvesting the light and reflecting it right into your eyeballs and now there's going to be cyber trucks and I already know the cyber truck headlights are 90,000 watts you get that's honestly I didn't even think about that the epidemic of uh extremely bright white headlights is not getting any better can I tell you why my brain's half cooked today? I just keep hearing Chinese Van Morrison in my head, screaming unhinged into the microphone on stage. It shit is driving me insane. Like at, at all times when you're like, does this guy realize he's not making sense? Just have some sympathy. Cause inside of my head, there's just a video of a, a, a tiny man screaming Mandarin Chinese into a microphone. I'm going this way. I'm specking this way. You ever feel like there's a tiny man inside of you that's piloting a larger man? Um, I think it happened literally one time in my entire life. I think it's just like sometimes you would have like 11 beers in college and then you would go uh, to the bathroom and then you would look at yourself in the mirror 
and you would actually like be seeing yourself for the first time. Like it would be like the you that you identify with is behind your eyes looking at like an image of a person. Like you're seeing yourself as other people see you for the first time in your entire life. I got that bizarre feeling a couple of times. Not a lot though. It's a re we really in this mofo moment. <laughs> Were you at Live Aid 1985? No, half of me was in my dad's balls and half of me was chilling in my mom's ovaries, I think. I don't know which one. I think I'm kind of a left ovary sort of guy. I don't know about you. I just get the vibe that I'm a left ovary egg. <laughs> left ovary right ball? Honestly, I think I'm a left ovary left ball sort of guy. That's just my guess. There's no way to verify it, but if we could, I think you would find that I'm right. Tom Petty voice, don't do me like that. Yes! Now that, listen, it's not the craziest team of all time, but the onion technology was kind of, and consider that it's a Friday too. Like the ELO on Fridays is up there. You see the video of, um, what's that guy's name? Luke Fragrance. You see the video of him taking an enormous whiff of cologne and then going like, woo, and he screams so loud that a tonsil stone uh, dislodges Jeremy Fragrance. That's it. A tonsil stone dislodges itself from like a socket inside of his mouth and it <laughs> flies out of the camera. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <coughs> what was that? Was that something out of my nose? Oh, I coughed something out while screaming power. I'm sorry. That was a bit ugly, but okay. <laughs> this is the fragrance where my famous video. <laughs> I, I hate the internet, but I love the internet, bro. There is no, you would not have ever seen that shit if you lived like 1910 to 1986. And I am glad to have seen it. Cause I mean, it's remarkable. That's all I gotta say. I mean, I don't, I'm not mad at the dude. What's he gonna do? He had a tonsil stone that he, probably, I guess, didn't know about. But I might have tonsil stones for all I know. I'm not gonna act like I got better dental hygiene than Jeremy Fragrance. I don't know. You would know? What are the symptoms of, uh, of a tonsil stone? They smell horrible? <laughs> okay, well, that's a pretty... <laughs> This is a big one, I guess. You can also feel them. I think I'm good, guys. You can't always feel them. I don't think my breath is amazing. I don't think it's tonsil stone bad. I think it's just normal 34-year-old man, like, it's just kind of like ambiently not the sort of thing you'd want to be smelling all the time, but like otherwise on remark. Sorry, you're right. 35, 35. That's true. Here. How's that? You're good. Seriously. I mean, I drink coffee every day, but I, you know, I use a... Um, Sonicare toothbrush, so like, you know, we're getting most of the gunk out. Coffee and Coke Zero? Yes, but I have a theory about um, caffeine. It's not necessarily based on any scientific fact. My... There's, I don't, there's a word for it, okay? You know, like, it's, when you imagine a single neuron, it's a binary system, right? It either fires an action potential or it doesn't. 
it takes a certain amount of stimulus in order to get the neuron to fire an action potential. And like anything under that will not generate a signal and anything over it doesn't generate like a stronger signal. It's just on and off, okay? False. All right, well, imagine if that was what it was like. I think that's what caffeine is like. And I think that my level to trigger caffeine efficacy is one cup of coffee. One cup of coffee activates the caffeine neurons and goes, you're more awake. Coke Zero is like a third of a cup of coffee. I honestly feel like I could drink one 10 minutes before bed and not affect my sleep in the slightest. Now, you might, at some, if you drank 20 Coke Zeros in an hour, you might start to feel like a little bit of caffeine overdosing, but you'd probably be feeling all sorts. You'd be burping like a son of a gun, man. Having a small amount of caffeine before sleep makes you get bad sleep. Not me, bro. I'm mouth tape. I'm waking up to ash and dust. So true. I am not. I am breathing in the chemicals through my nose. <laughs> what is mouth taping? Mouth taping is uh, the newest save your masculinity life hack from the same bozos that brought you. I don't know if there, but maybe there's doctors involved at some point that haven't lost their license from the same bozos that brought you perennium sunning. Um, it's like the newest thing from the people who tell you that like they start their day with a new tropic stack because it makes their balls tingle. You tape your mouth shut when you go to sleep so that you breathe in through your nose and it has some sort of impact. I'm not a, a sleep doctor, so I don't know. I mean, they might not be either, <laughs> but that's the general idea of it. I do feel like I'm definitely a mouth breather when I sleep, which makes me feel like I could die. And it annoys me, or it scares me is maybe a better way to describe it, because it would be dying in like the most self-inflicted way possible. So no one would have any sympathy for me at all and everybody would make fun of me. I don't wanna go out like that if I can avoid it. Like I'd rather die of lifestyle-induced heart disease, but at least be like 75. Because then they're not like, he shouldn't have eaten so many corn-based snacks. They'll just be like, oh, it's tragic, you know? He was old, but he wasn't that old. I'm not going out by, like, taping my fucking mouth shut and then suffocating in my sleep. <laughs> but again, I don't know. I, like, maybe this is one of the things that's like, you believe it or not, you were right about the perennium sunning stuff, but I'm telling you, like, the mouth taping actually works. I don't know, maybe. I say this, I swear to you, I, I say it with due respect. Oh, oh we're dead anyway. Um, we need society to heal a little bit. We need, you're not gonna like the first part of this, but just hang on until we get to the good stuff, okay? We need insane, deluded people in Silicon Valley that like literally hyper fixate on like, I, this is my purpose in the world. And it turns out their purpose in the world is to like, again, they're developing like DoorDash 2 or something like that, okay? I think there is a need for that. It's a, it's a level of insanity that can serve society at least a little bit. The problem that I have is that somehow they were the dominant like cultural force for too long and now founder culture has percolated out to like every single other sector. Like there's founder guys in real estate and there's founder guys in finance and there's founder guys in health and there's founder guys, obviously like they started in tech. I don't know, maybe they started in the railroad. Maybe fucking Andrew Carnegie was out here like mouth taping or something. But like we need, I'm not saying we should bully them, but I do think if you are a normal person, you have an obligation to when you see someone that's building like middleware for Uber Eats that like connects you with the driver two clock cycles faster and also as a result you get paid $10 million a year and the driver gets 10 cents. You have an obligation to like make fun of them a little bit whether they hear it or not because the, somehow the ego got too big. I don't know how it happened. Like why, why are there venture capitalists with egos? You didn't do anything. The capital did everything. It doesn't make any sense. Like you literally, that's the point. 
You looked at an idea and said, that idea is pretty good. Here's some money. And then it, the, the founder of the company that you invested in did the stuff. And also the people that worked there. But you shouldn't have an ego. You should be on your knees like, thank you, thank you. You turn my money into more money. Thank you. I'm just a little worm. I don't do anything. You took the money and took it and turned it into something else. Why are they giving podcasts that are like, I'm a superhero. What are you talking about, bro? You're just taking gorilla mindset. Like you're really trying to disrupt sleep. That's like the one thing that shouldn't be disrupted, man. Sleep is, you just, the only thing you need with sleep is you got to get more of it. Like 98% of the population could get more sleep. That's it. There's some of the, the, the founder core stuff that I'm like, I think it makes sense if you work like a job where you can rearrange things in your day. Put the stuff that you find hardest like at the earliest or put it at like the time of the day when you feel the most energized or something like that. You don't want to be like, oh, I'm already tired and then I got to do this shit part of my job that I hate the most. Like that's, you'd rather not do that if you have a choice. When they start talking about like I hook up a vacuum cleaner to my rectum while I sleep to get all the bad air out of my colon and it's changed my life. I'm like, brother, what the fuck are you talking about? You invented like email too. You don't know, you're out of your... Your comfort zone here. You're out of your wheelhouse. You need to talk to, like, let me talk to, like, a doctor. So I'm pretty sure the average doctor would be, like, just sleep as much as you can, if possible. Though that's too much, but, like, you know, within reason. <laughs> Meanwhile, the dude who invented fucking bad Twitter is out here telling you, like, what he eats to get a six-pack. And I'm like, bro, stick to the, the bits and bites, bro. If I wanted advice on how to sell my $200,000 idea for $130 million, you'd be the first person I'd call up. He's talking to me, you're saying like, oh, two bananas a day is too much. Eat one banana a day. Stay in your lane. Sorry, I'm, I keep going even though the bit's dry because it's the most plus twos I've ever gotten. I'm glad you don't leave your lane. I mostly stick in my lane, which is like knowing myself and then like making fun of people and then hypocritically saying like we should be nicer to people. At least I'll say whenever I talk about stuff that is outside of the streaming landscape, I usually start it with like, I'm a moron. Whereas like the founder culture bros, the gurus are out here. Like every post is like, dude, inventor of email too. Father first, husband second, founder third. But then all his tweets are about business, whatever. Make it make sense. They always start with like one mission statement sentence. I used to be a fat guy. And then, like, what is it? Eat less, eat less, eat less. Uh, work out more, work out more. No, 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 it's taping your mouth shut. Well, you're, it's a fucking, my, my hormone cycle was all messed up as a result of the blue light that I've been, so I wear sunglasses now whenever I go out. Okay, like it's always some kind of, what I would describe as a nonsensical solution to a conventional problem, but please represent us in the Senate. I don't have cross aisle appeal. I don't even think I have Una aisle appeal. I don't even think I want to do it like this. <laughs> so no, no, I will not. I don't hate them. I just wish that they would like, and there's probably lots of founders who are just like, yeah, I just like go to work and then like work on my company and then go home and then like spend time with my family. But then there's also dudes who are like, I own eight self-storage facilities in the United States. If you want to be like, I'm like, it just makes me skeptical that you're actually good at business. Because if I was good at business, you would not catch my ass talking business to anybody else. I would be like, I'm not giving away my secrets. I'm certainly not going to start selling courses. I got to spin up like a e-commerce website and stuff. I got to hire people to run. I'm already busy enough running my fucking my own business, my drywall and milling business or something. I really think I, we've said this before. But my opinion has not changed. I think it's like a, a problem in the human mind because I think that like these people before they were like insanely rich were like, if I was just insanely rich, I'd be like really happy. And then they get insanely rich and they're like, now I need the validation of strangers on the internet. And that's where I'm like, that sucks, bro. Cause I think that's very real. <laughs> I'm like, if you have a billion dollars and you're posting like cringe core on Twitter, that's, you have, 
an obligation for the psyche of society to just fuck off and get into like skydiving, go to space, be on vacation 100% of the, the time for the rest of your life, make like a gold statue of yourself or something like that. You can't, you're not allowed to be wanting anymore. I'm sorry. You're not allowed to be like, I just want people to like me. You have to become like a far cry villain. Otherwise, the order that we have in the world doesn't make sense. Because what you're doing, you're blowing up the game for people. You're telling all the hungry young people out there right now that if they have a billion dollars, they're still going to be sad. They're still going to want friends. Don't fuck with them like that. That's crazy. Keep the illusion alive, okay? By shutting your mouth, enjoying your money. Don't start a podcast, okay? Like, this is so YouTuber coded. But you know who did it right, man? I think C Nanners did it right. Dude was like, he made his money on YouTube from 2008 to like 2014, and then was like, I'm gonna go away now. And then he just comes back now and then to like be part of multiplayer stuff, and then he goes away, and then he comes back, and he's not out here talking about like, you know, well, I, listen, you're going to take it the wrong way because what I was going to say is he's not how you're talking about politics, but I was really referring to the venture capitalists that are like, here's what Ukraine should do. I'm not referring to people who are like taking a stand for, you know, what they feel are their principled values. But the dude is just out here that seems like he's living a relatively high quality of life and vibing. That's inspirational, man. Now, C. Nanners may not be happy all the time, but at least he's not letting everyone know that he's sad <laughs> and there's no way out of humanity. He's keeping the illusion alive and I respect that. I always thought it was Sean Anners. It might be. Like, it, his name might be, I guess. It's definitely not. His name is Adam. Adam Sean Anners? No. It's Adam Montoya. <laughs> Some dude in Inverness named Sean Anners. What do you say fuck me for? What the fuck you mean baked beans ain't number one? Why is he English in Inverness? Because I can only do a Scottish accent if I am pretending to be fat bastard, which is like more offensive than doing... Well, I guess I'll let the Scots decide. What's more offensive? Leaning heavily into the fat bastard accent or conflating it with an English accent. No, I, by the way, UK, can I get some credit? I said un-English accent. The conflating for sure. Fair enough. All right. What do you say fuck me for then? Is that better? Now that you've heard it and you can compare and contrast, is that less offensive? Yes, all right. It's, it's more fun to do as well. Hear a little Newfoundland in that. That would make sense. New Newfoundland is like a crazy melting pot of accents. It's like rural Canadian mixed with like all varieties of the British Isles, but especially Irish and Scottish. And then also like a little French Canadian. Has... has St. John's been, uh, like, completely gentrified yet? Like, are there, like, nine upscale McDonald's is essentially where you can get screeched? Or is it still just, like, one dude in a shack with a bottle of screech and a fish? A little bit of both? That's I'm happy for him. What the hell are you talking about? In, you can get screeched in... Is that the, the phrasing? You can get in, initiated as a proper Newfoundlander um, by going to a bar, drinking some Newfoundland moonshine, and then kissing a fish on the lips. I swear to you, halfway through the sentence, I realized... It, all, it sounded insane the whole time. I realized just how insane it sounded as I was talking more. But I swear to you, it's true. I'll be a, a Newfoundland pick me. I got no problem kissing a fish on the lips. There's no shot he's doing that. I would, I would, even if they didn't give me any credit for it, if they said kiss this fish on the lips, 
Three Alexander Keiths deep. I'm kissing the fish on the lips. What do I care? I'm going to ask it first if it's okay. It's 2023. I think it's like it's usually like a taxidermied fish, right? It's usually like a... Is it like mounted on a plaque? Or it's not one that they just caught from the harbor, is it? I'll do it either way. I don't think you're going to eat the fish and have it pass through your entire digestive system. How are you going to eat a fish and not have it touch your lips, motherfucker? It's a frozen fish? That's no problem, man. That doesn't bother me in the slightest. <laughs> I wonder why you keep having food poisoning. I'm telling you... It's the standards, the food safety standards have gotten real lax lately. The, the macabre answer for why I've been getting food poisoning, I, I swear to you, I, this is my hypothesis, I believe this is true. Never get old. Um, I think that getting such a bad infection from the salmonella and the campylobacter has had long-term ramifications. Maybe not permanent ramifications, Right? I actually think in my gut, it's still healing from that infection. It may take like a few years to get back to baseline. Yeah, I think of like, I'm not even just saying this to meme. Like we're all adults here. We get, we're mature. I, um, I think that I could use a fecal transplant or at least like a consultation but I can't even get like a doctor's appointment, really. So let's start with that first. And then maybe at the doctor's appointment, I can drop like the fecal transplant ask. Maybe go to the black market. <laughs> I'm not going to the, the underground poop market, man. I, I want some premium, top grade, sourced, laboratory tested, high yield feces, okay? Now, I, again, I, I, can we just, if you're like 19 and you're going lol, 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 poop. I say this, uh, we're, we're dead, but we can squeeze in one more real quick. We need to move past this to have, we can have a funnier conversation if we break the hard shell of getting over the poop stuff. We can find meteor like you're you're nibbling on the crab claw mm, poop funny ha 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 well there's fucking meat in that claw that'll change your life okay we could learn something about one another and also like maybe learn something about the world around us okay for example let me let me show you because if, if we're always like yeah no it's a real thing Chad. it's a real thing you know it's a real thing stop debasing yourself okay i don't know anything about poop transplants except the fact that apparently they work um but now that i'm actually thinking about it it can't possibly be the process that i'm imagining right which is you laying on your side and your doctor kind of like taking a turd and like they pop a funnel in your butt or something and then they're like oh. <laughs> like jackass style like the pouring of a bottle of hot sauce into your colon <laughs> like <laughs> Oh, it comes in pill form, dude. Science fiction was right. Who's gonna donate the poop, though? I thought there was like, um, there were market forces at play with becoming like a poop donor. I thought it was like, like two percent of the population has like pliable feces for poop donation. So if you're in that two percent, you're like, freaking mint. You are correct. I'm actually like so smart compared to what I thought I was. <laughs> to be fair, I have a friend whose wife is like a, a laboratory researcher in the field of poop transplanting. So I guess I have a little bit more of an in than I led on originally, but, but it's like one of those things where like, I guess in America, you can get paid to uh, donate sperm. And then when you're like 12, you're like, that's going to be my job when I grow up. And then you look at it and it's like, we only want sperm from like non-smokers, non-drinkers who can run the 40 yard dash in under five seconds, who have like, a, I don't know why this matters, but like a college degree and like no pre-existing conditions. And you're like, wow, I'm, why would they say fuck me for? 
and you gotta come like a gallon. Like that really narrows it down just to begin with. I've got that one covered. Well, it is December 1st. <laughs> anyway. It's crazy, dude. Pornography websites, you know how they release that map that's like, here's the fetishes of like everybody uh, in the United States based on their state. They should release like the top, top trends on November 30th versus like December 1st. If no nut November is a real phenomenon, the DGENs who are jerking in November 30th, I'm sure it's fucked up. Stuck, stepsister, internal cum explosion, like just fucking gross stuff. I bet December 1st is like the only day of the year where number one is just like sex. <laughs> they haven't had release in a month. They're just like, ah! Tits. Dung, like insta lock. One tab, not looking at any of the related videos. They're <laughs> on the home screen. They're coming to the damn ad. He's one tapped. He's, he's one, he's tapped, he's tapped, bro. He's tapped, he's hiding in the blonde tag. Go get him. I saw him sprint to the blonde tag. So, I use this, this, this app <laughs> that, like, that, monitors, that monitors my sleep. Yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. And like it records that like if I snore or something so you can keep track of it. And last night at 2.15 a.m. it says sleep talking in parentheses or in brackets baby fussing or crying comma sleep talking question mark <laughs> and then this is the sound that played for me when I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> Your ass is haunted. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Dude. <laughs> that is so good. You got a ghost in your house, like, man. What the fuck was that, man? <laughs> that is fucking incredible. That is insane, dude. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it straight up is just like a generic ghost sound dot mp4 do you remember this is gonna sound insane there was an old youtube video of a guy laying in bed naked <laughs> what the fuck it's already pretty funny yeah and a guy comes in and to scare him awake and he goes uh, and the naked guy wakes up and he goes oh <laughs> and then he just like lifts his leg up and you just see like blurred out dick and ball. Oh. And he just, like, showcases it. I think about that video so much. Can anyone find that for me? Oh man. Oh. <laughs> it's gotta be someone oh, has to remember this. Man. <laughs> it's like very old internet video. It's like the dude who always scare wakes up his wife and she's like, boom. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, so I think I might be dying. It's so <laughs> funny that you're making yeah, that sound. Like, what a way to find out. <laughs> it's probably something horrible. <gasps> I found it. Oh, he was so excited. Jesus Christ. Oh, come on! Man, I don't even see that. <laughs> Looks like he's got a big old turd in his butt. What, what are you talking about? Just be careful. We're trying to stream the Discord, Justin. You're putting that in the damn fucking screen, oh, man. It's, but... fucking, it's safe for YouTube. It's safe for you. Uh, <laughs> have you seen what's on YouTube lately, man? Justin yeah, loading up Twitch and watching breastfeeding tutorials for like six hours. <laughs> Yo, Daniel, thank you for the raid. Did you take your Laxazia the Complete this morning? Ask your doctor if Laxazia the Complete is right for you. Something is to like just spread eagle at somebody. What I could never. My ass. Insane, actually. <clears throat> this is yeah. why I literally won't ever sleep naked. That and no, bugs. That to happen to you. Bugs? I'm. I don't yeah, trust I the bugs. Chicken they do look so oh, nice to Two thousand and like five. After the a little earlier, earlier than that, I was eating them as a little kid. 
Really? No way. Are you eating chicken thighs? Is a little I was definitely, I was eight, eight, I'm seven, eight, eight. I'm overruling you. It's like 2005. We li we got them like five years ago, man. Yeah. Fuck. White Castle's impossible. Song. 1901. Oh, that's that's oh wait, impossible. Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna literally put that at the newest. I thought like, it was because they were like impossibly yeah, give small. One. Give him for one, just in oh. case. Oh, uh, I did. We can snack. It's a, it's a oh, that's this is the 90s as well. I, this is early good. 90s, bro. It's po I'm telling you, it's post this chicken is, fries. It's post no, chicken. It's not really? post, no, it's crazy. No, I don't know, man. I grew up in Canada. Shit's all. We get it a little late, but I'm telling you. Is, I'm telling you, chicken fries was 100% like 2005. Chicken fries is going to be like 1996, and you're going to get down insane. on your knees and say sorry. This is after stuffed crust before the chicken fries. Supreme? I after, think the Crunchwrap Supreme is post uh, fucking chicken fries. Bro, it might be post chicken fries. It's post chicken fries. Sure. are crazy. It's definitely post chicken fries, the Crunchwrap. It's Something like it's five dollars foot long. It's also like, 08 ish. Yeah. No, no, no. Is, you're crazy. It's before. Fuck. I'm going to put it. Yeah, I'm going to put it there. Post chicken fries, pre bacon. I, I, there's there. no there's world that. this is post chicken fries, I think. Me, when there's a quick so you guys think the chicken fries came out in like the 90s, dude? Chicken fries was 2005. There's no it. shot chicken fries is 2005. I would have been like 17 years old. 2005. I think it's like 2002. What? 2005. Oh, my God, oh I didn't realize that Canada's the test market, bro. <laughs> Canada apparently is the test market for Burger King. They're getting Kingston, Ontario. Cereal, cereal. Get the fuck out of here. The man. Burger King on Bath Road that doesn't even cook the beef right gives everybody oh, food poisoning man. is getting the new early access Ryan's, food. Ryan's mom's out here like trimming his nuggets into fries and tricking him <laughs> as a kid. <laughs> now that I think about it, they might have just been cooked in the toaster oven. You motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this dude, this, this dude is born in like 1027 or something. Ryan, have I told you I've been doing the, uh, like the box office wordle oh. shit where, like, with, like, where you could like reveal parts of stuff, but I like to reveal all of them slowly and just see if I can guess the movie knowing all the information. <laughs> <laughs> and I almost never can, and it's very funny. I don't fucking know, man. That's me in the Poke Doku every day. That's why I asked everyone. Well, did you do it mm, again today? Uh, I did. I uh, one of them was the Prestige, which I haven't seen yet, so I had to immediately start yelling at chat. No spoilers, please. Ah, uh, I'm gonna watch it. I've been meaning to watch it since it came out. It's a, uh, Prestige is fun. It's Apollo's favorite. I was movie. telling, I was telling him it's insane that he doesn't hasn't been spoiled on it yet. That is true. Okay, wow, we're alive. We got Macbeth it like exactly <laughs> opposite, and that's almost as good as perfect. <laughs> <laughs> how are we not dead yet? Look at how this many chinos are about. Wow! What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking 1247, dude. Even I'm getting sick of Quicksword. That's how long it's gone on for. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Their, their mascot was a kangaroo. Texas gotta have so many Walmarts, dude. Don't they get One outcompeted the by the HEBs, though? Holy cow, go, bro, dude, come on, there's, there, what about Arkansas? Denver? Corey, it's not a, it's not a state, motherfucker! Oh, you're right! <sighs> well, not a state. Not a lot. Wait. You said <laughs> not a state? <laughs> <laughs> not a, technically not a state. All right. Uh, Hold on, I have a <laughs> Oh, no, Maybe. no, no. <laughs> Just let it end. That's got to be pretty low. That's probably not too many Walmart. I mean, you know what? Way. I'm gonna go pee while I have the time. That's it's definitely sensible. Over. That's <laughs> sensible. New York, so many. Not a lot, no. New York State. That was another Duke, New York yeah, State. Yeah, but Bro. still, the state ain't that big. <laughs> Number one is gonna be like Missouri uh, or Texas, Fucking maybe. Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out, I really thought Walmart would get cannibalized by H E B, but apparently not. Dude, nothing can cannibalize Walmart. Yeah, I guess. They're the most Dude, they're like company ever made. Yeah, and they're like the only big box retailer that exists in Canada. Uh, excuse me, what did Canadian Tire do to you? Uh, Ooh. have you been there lately? It is not my Dude, favorite store to go K. into. Hundred <laughs> K is definitely the best we've ever done. Oh, this we destroyed. We've never gotten anywhere close to this. This was like an hour long. It was yeah. like an hour long. <laughs> A one hour long quick. Yeah. 
I, I think next this is Chibley's worst nightmare. <laughs> no, yeah, I absolutely despise this, and I'm just trying not to uh, vocalize that. Bro, but, there was you an know, Ariana I'm Grande got question. Got 100k. I'm glad that one question. That one question. <laughs> was good. Oh man, you, you know what I gotta. You know what I gotta say to that. You and not like a fucking like wolf out of your window. Okay, maybe the window was open a little bit. I don't. There's no window. I'm not near a window. <laughs> I hate oh. looking at this shit in the Discord, man. I know every what? time. Every what? time I tap back in, just like a, a pasty guy with a black bar between his legs. <laughs> Did you watch it though? It's funny. He's fucking. He's got a good grip on that eight ball. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping guy scared up late, uploaded by Felipe Ramos. Oh man. When was that upload? I wonder if it's a re upload. It's that that video looks ancient. <laughs> it is so it's old. 14, 14 years ago, 13k views. Why do I know this? <laughs> you were like, have you guys seen it? <laughs> <laughs> oh man have you seen oh. the video where it's a dude asleep on a couch and then someone else is just pouring like mustard on his face i don't think i've seen that one. Oh yeah, yeah what? that one's wild well more lore that entire channel is just that dude doing the same thing to all of his friends that fall asleep oh. in his house <laughs> Oh no. He just pours mustard on their face? I never sleep. There. Yeah. There's like videos of like him throwing like jugs of juice on people's face and Kool Aid and whipped cream all over their head. Like he's just on a tear, dude. He can't help himself. What a bastard. I <laughs> know. I would not be falling asleep first at the sleepover. The, the mustard one is one of the funniest videos on the internet. It just keeps going. Dude, I got one whole section of the damn wheel. I see that. Uh, and you know, it's actually there, the man. same percentage chance to land on all the slices, no matter Shut their the clumping. Shut the oh, fuck, fuck up! <laughs> Never mind. Uh, Yay! I thought that was Ryan for a second because I just assume he always has the power slice. I know it's different, Yay! right? Chibli power slice. Chibli is bro. winning. Only Northern Lion the way that I'm winning on the wheel. Well, do we want to give it to the person with the lowest point total? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do no. that. Okay. Uh, Corey, it's or Justin. Me. It's Justin. Wait, no, it's Corey, isn't it? Oh, Ryan's no, it's, about it's, to Justin has 2,500. No, I voted, I voted for Justin. Oh, okay. Vote, I can get the Corey, points. They'll, eventually, it'll be like fucking Canadian. What are you talking about, Chibli? Oh, Chibli's trying to get the points. I Corey see. He's trying to lowest. among us. He's trying uh, to among us. Ah, shucks. I tried. <laughs> Hey guys, yeah, there's a chocolate it's muffin if you vote for Corey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Chalky muffin? Oh, yeah. Oh, Holy, man. What the hell? Hey, yay. I like this. You already had your moment, man. Dude, Dude, he's going crazy. <laughs> Fuck up, man. Let me have it while I got it. Wow! What the <laughs> fuck? Hey, wait, that's so good. I got more. Chibli, are you in his computer? Crazy. Remember all that Yay. shit I said about clumping? 
I swear to God, if I land the goddamn fucking, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the Ghibli solo spot. Watch this. I'm gonna give him another point. Yay! Oh, that's the second worst option. <laughs> Fuck you. That's a lot of points, <laughs> man. Dude, the cream always rises to the top. Bro, you were the. We all land on the same like four slots. That whole thing. Look at that. There's Pretty a crazy. magnet for sure. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you. Whoever's spinning that wheel is a snake for real. Breaks. The fucking breaks. Greased, dude. It's greased. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to I like one. the theory that there's a break on it, but there's also someone greasing it in the back. <laughs> first spin. Okay. Oh, okay. Is, uh... Okay. Remember, if it... Oops. I don't know this shit. Dustin's gonna either? do the chibli. Fuck. I hear him clicking. Ryan's oh, killing it. I'm gonna do it too, bro. Well, I've gotten every single one wrong so far, so fuck you. I switched to the bottoms and now all the bottoms are wrong. Your bottoms Why did wrong. Ryan know this so well? <laughs> I don't know, man. I went off. <laughs> I got one. I go. did the Ghibli strat and it. I, well, I, I literally got all of them wrong. If I had picked the other no, one, I would have gotten no, like didn't. eight in a I, row. I literally got all of them wrong. Well, no, I started Ghibli after strat. a few in. <laughs> I think it's because I'm a Sagittarius, so I know that it's late. So that was like a freebie. And then my mom's a Pisces, which is early. So I was like, just pick the other I one. Know, I know I'm Pisces, which is fish. And that's it. Oh, I know. Okay. I'm a Libra, which means I'm a Libra. I lie, apparently. You know what? I'm rolling for Chibli this round. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. Bro, he's got 14,000 points. I know. But now... Uh, he can't win on this spin. Brian overtook me in the game. I think he I can win on this spin. spin. <laughs> he can win on this spin. <laughs> Damn. I did not see the 4,000. I saw the 2,000 in the middle. <laughs> I, feel like I, I feel like I'm stuck in a time loop. Look, I'm playing out of wild. It feels right good now. to be home, though, right? Apollo, like, it feels good to be back. To Get, the okay. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. At least it was fast. There it is, there it is. Oh my god. <laughs> please, 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 please. No! <laughs> yeah, that sounds like the Democrats, all right. Hey! <laughs> so true, I think. It's over. Incredible. Can you not distract me from the question? <laughs> Dude, I did do plants like Pepsi. I talk about it all the time. I wonder which one Apollo's gonna take. It turns out up. plants do not <laughs> like Pepsi, man. They at least they like it more than they like milk, but a lot less than they like water. This might be like the most random category I've ever seen in this game. XD. <laughs> I feel pretty good about the answers. Like, I think it's gonna be an easy one. Dude, what? <laughs> what do you mean? No, I. This is such a weirdly a like subjective one. How do you know which one's like which? Yeah, there is a this is definite tough. first one. Yeah, there's a definite for Justin there's a definite and I first, at least. Second and third, I think. Really? You're all insane. I'm with you, Apollo. I think this is there hard. I'm. I'm be, uh, like listen, I'm glad we're on the let, same team because I'm with you guys go too. First, so he can test his confidence out. It, Damn. Oh no. no. Yo, okay, you guys got this. I Justin, think uh, we patiently waiting. I didn't yep. put it in my top three, but I think Volcano is so I would be recognizable. So mad! I would be so mad. Oh, I thought that's so <laughs> lame. Idiots, man. I'm locking I, it. I, I chose, I chose <laughs> no. Godzilla. That's like the dumbest one. It's the dumbest one. It's yeah, the dumbest one, lost. man. Idiots. Okay, Justin, it's is what Godzilla. Is what? The in the place. <laughs> All right, we shouldn't give up too much, Chipley. You no, know, your confidence is so misplaced. It's I can't annoying. wait till you pick number seven. Is Godzilla possible, right? One hundred percent. What? Damn it! 100%. I did choose that. Okay. Fuck. Bro, Good. that's not science. We like, know it's this, possible. So this doesn't, yeah. So what I've learned is this doesn't make any sense. Also, it wasn't but number it's like one. Eight year you guys were. It's number one for sure. It was number two. So don't you look stupid? I said first okay. or second. Eight. Eighth place, fucking so, made of dude, that, no? With that logic, nail polish equals explosion. Yeah, it's explosion, right? and I, I did ex I did explosion and slimy. <laughs> I picked the explosion one because it's real science. These guys are fools. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good answer. Good shut answer. Up. This shit would have like applications for the military and stuff. That's got to be number one. All right, Chibli. Yeah. It's the dog's dreaming, isn't it? I think I think it's slime. It's dogs. Hey. I got to hand it to you. You guys did know what you were talking about. Not that they, mm, they more than I did. My ass picked the last five place answer. Five? Don't give uh, them Pepsi four, more yeah. unnecessary Pepsi confidence four. than they already have. Paul is just mad. <laughs> Go look at the moon, bro. Just kidding. Oh, 6, fuck. Which is, <laughs> oh, man. Which is the worst? Ryan wouldn't have laughed at that like three years ago. Uh, if you hate setting up your own punchline. Yeah, yeah. But oh, now I'm like, uh, life's too short. <laughs> Dude, feet for hands, man. That's a dream for I would just people. go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, if anyone voted feet for hands, you're just the biggest baby. Just go back to bed. Start jacking off yeah, yeah, 12 straight up, hours. Like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Setting your alarm Couldn't, for 6 a.m. Uh, so you can fucking, get a good goon session. Fucking Tarantino's going one. crazy. Are you insane? Number one is no, now can't. I'm confident. Well, uh, I definitely okay. know what number one is. Number one is allergic to water. water. Right? No, forget what? you are. What? Why? Who cares? You need water. Bro, there's water vapor in the Your air. Your body is made of water. You would be dead. Okay. They're one and two, then. I'll give you that, at least. So don't pick up. Don't, but you don't want to pick this one, though. This is going to be number one. Oh. Oh, it's number two. Thank oh. God. Oh. What? what? Third. People were like, I'd rather die than sneeze. Okay. <laughs> I would forget who you are. That's number be one. Be high up there. Forgetting who you are has to be number one. It's literally Why? everyone's it's biggest fear. It's the scariest fear. thing on it the list. It is crazy. You're 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 asleep. It's the scariest asleep. thing that can. No, you're, you wake up. <laughs> you wake up clearly. It's I, can I pick uh, sneezing? Can I pick sneezing, Ghibli? I think it's that or everything itches. My, I picked itching. I think itching might be number one. Oh, so this oh, is good. Okay, crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. If <clears throat> Like, I'm at that point now where I'll be genuinely upset if Forget Who You Are isn't number one because then everyone's stupid. Because What are you talking be, about? Maybe <laughs> everyone's depressed and they want to. Oh, true. No, but they'd be like, how did I get here? Where, who am I? Who's this person? Yeah. What's that? Oh, who's this big up? dick pimp? Yeah. <laughs> they start jacking off of my feet hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so then, uh, under this logic, it would be the hot tea. Oh, no, it, I don't know, actually, now. Hot tears, I just won't cry. I was thinking like, hungry, hungry is pretty bad. Hungry is bad. Hungry is pretty like, bad. Like itchy is the bad, but I just wouldn't scratch. That you just sleep through it. It's the, then it's a dumb answer that shouldn't be in here if you're not waking up. Yeah, then all of these are irrelevant. Me, I don't I think just, this is right. I just figured all of these oh, would have been God. like, God. it's annoying while you're asleep. Oh, that's bullshit. Sixth is crazy. If itching is above this, society's cooked. I think it's itching. I th I'm so well, dead set and forget who you are being number one because that is like all you have in this world, yeah, bro, is exactly. knowing who you are. That's I agree with you, yeah, but I now I'm, I'm starting to worry based on chat's insane logic that you just sleep through it. Well, what, what, I, you pick three years, you're crazy. So I, I'm okay with you picking itches, even if it everything itch. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's, I feel like everything itching should be higher. That's why I think it might be number one. I think this is number one. You yeah, guys are cool. everything itches number one, number two, it allergic is, to is. water? <laughs> what? <laughs> you motherfuckers need to like love yourself, so it's, it's, man. It's gotta Come be forget, on, it's gotta like be forget who you are. It's gotta be. Because there's at least some logical people who voted for this. Whoa. <laughs> what? What? Hot oh, tears? Man. You all need help. <laughs> you all need help, actually. Oh my god. Wow. You would be okay waking up and not knowing anything. You just go back to sleep. You like you could you could hurt someone. <laughs> you could hurt yourself. You could hurt someone. You could go like I fucking insane. I think it's ringing horrible. ears like well people are gonna peek. peek. My ears already ring, dude. It's not. Oh, yeah, it's not I, don't know, I don't know how ringing ears is up ears. high at all. I think it's That's ringing crazy. ears too, but I'm worried everyone did feet for hands because it's silly. This is crazy. Oh How the fuck is this number four? Oh my God. People will be like, oh, I'd rather be uncontrollably hungry. What are no, you talking dude, I'd, about? I'd rather my ears ring than literally forget who I am. That's that's insane. That's, that that's insane. crazy. That's, that's insane exactly, to that's me, dude. Crazy. They screwed us, bro. Damn, we got four torches and y'all got People out here living with tinnitus every day. Yeah, my ears like already kind of ring. Right? Yeah, I, I, I just like, ignore that shit. Dude. Yeah. 
the first stand up of the day, I feel like I'm gonna pass out, but that's only a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I just can't believe that bro said like eight hours of tinnitus is worse than <laughs> completely oh, depersonalizing yourself. Um, okay, dying immediately from the inside out, insatiable hunger like this is crazy. <laughs> Blunt British genius. My shit is fucking good, man. Best New Zealand rapper. Yo. You guys have three seconds. New Zealand oh, rapper. Fuck. Be like, they think that I only care about sheep, but I also really like the Battle of Helm's Deep. <laughs> I'll have you know, I had less than one second. <laughs> right. <laughs> Dude, I got Gene, but mine is so good. It's Chip, your balls, your balls. Good. Your balls, oh, my my balls, balls are safe. Balls on the table. Your hands are shaking. Vision's getting adorable. Can't call for pizza. The reception is horrible. Ooh. Throw in the towel. You've seen your last tractor pull. Here comes a toll. Can you spare a buck? Oh, that's, what the fuck, I Gene? That one. I that one. <laughs> what the fuck, <laughs> Gene? Gee, fucking blew it, man. Oh, it's because he lost his balls last round. I flow so smooth. I flow so smooth, you flow like water. And I'm thirsty as fuck about to commit slaughter. I roll in the club, decked out in shorts. Dull walking around like King Homer in a crowd of boards. <laughs> Now let's keep it moving. Nice. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's like he's the king, but like he doesn't have his son. So like, uh, yeah, yeah. He's like, he's useless. A crowd of boards. A crowd of boards, dude. Dude's dead ass silent too. What's going on in his yeah, head right I'm now? because I'm fucking like just taking it in, man. That's, That's beautiful. Oh. He's just banging his balls on the table right in front of Gene. Eden up, Gene. Holy Jesus Christ, dude. dude. Gene didn't even fucking rhyme. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah Gene. <laughs> I'm confident that would have beat any rhyme or any rap in this entire lobby. I'm sorry. That was the best thing I've ever done. I don't know how you did, Corey. Mine sucks, I think. I'm coming for you, so you best be shitting. That dump best be big or you'll stop living. It's fire. The pendulum swinging at your dumper. You silly bitch, I'm out her. <laughs> I don't know. That's not bad, honestly. It's kind of like it very little, anal like fixated good. rap. Yeah, it was a lot yeah, of butt. Yeah, it was. <laughs> in poop and stuff. Surely Corey's gonna be about poop. You're the fly bad. swatter, I'm Ryan's mom. Stop dodging me, just trying to give some yum yum. <laughs> Only one can survive, that means you get stunted. Better get off the yayo, you getting blunted? It's like 18 mixed <laughs> drug metaphors, man. <laughs> Bro couldn't think of a word that rhymes with mom. <laughs> had to say yum yum. <laughs> Bro went full bang. They, they, like, told, like, me, they oh. told me. They told me to give a large animal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but dude, there's like a million I, I, words that rhyme with mom. I gambled. I gambled. Oh. <laughs> Bro one? Hey, I got the cheer pose. Bro one the yum yum, man. I kind of think I went a little too hard. Wow. Who's your opponent? Corey. Me. <laughs> yeah. the, the rhymes are, they're dripping with malice. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I just did just what came up. My, that's funny because mine are just real horny. I think you should jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> well, my feet ain't hands. Oh, um, so true. It's kind of funny to imagine. Like, imagine if we had four arms instead of two arms and two legs, and then there was a dude like hanging on the okay, monkey bars, the jerking oh, himself off with his foot hands. <laughs> let me see you. Let I me bet see chimps you. do that shit. Let me hear yeah, they do everything, chimps. man. This has not gone well for me. Balls on the table, the Justin. You can't catch me, I slipped through the Gators swamp. Be Gators be crunching on me like <laughs> chump, chump, shit. chump. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to keep up, let me get you a tractor trailer. I'm over here browsing my local grocery mailer. 
What the fuck, Gene? He kind of oh, was a little fire on that one, I thought. I don't know about that. The I first like one, so you had me at the beginning, first but the end. Was kill, the last yeah. 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 Was you got build, you know what I mean? I feel like you fell off in the end. <laughs> he does talk about tractors a lot. <laughs> get out of my crib, go back to your Walmart. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Go to the mall, get busted by Paul Blart. <laughs> Mess with me, you'll get my foot in your face. Say goodbye to your nuts, Gene. I threw them to space. Oh, that's oh, like a direct hit. Oh, shit. That's yeah, bars. That ain't pretty good. Best I heard. <laughs> Holy. Hey. Pretty big win. Honestly, Still closer Gene. than it should have been after that fucking <laughs> lying Gene threw out there. You, congratulations. Well, you don't like deals? All right. Where my next <laughs> yeah. at? No. Oh, no. You can't, you can't hang cry. with me. You'll slip. Moan like a ghost while I empty my clip. Oh my God. Did I break you yet? Should we call a urologist? Or is your ass so old we need a paleontologist? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think you got me on this one. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure you got me on this one. You gonna stand here and say I'm a train? <laughs> Check him for your ticket before I get brained. <laughs> this game ain't over until I see you smack this cock real hard ready for your wank. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I'll be, they kind of left you up to dry with that first line. That kind of stuff. Yeah, that first line. Is kind of I don't think I, I, I could have done anything with that. Oh, man. <laughs> Expected. Huge. They, they gave me, like, I think they said, I think they said, like, singular noun. Or something, or singular vehicle, or something. And it was like I typed in train. They asked for a vehicle, yeah. and they said that vehicle hit my face. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you're gonna call? I'm a train. What are you talking about? You think you're bad? Don't make me admire. Every street, Every street corner putting up your missing persons flyer. When I embarrass you, does it make you feel rancid? Go tell everyone what you saw here tonight. <laughs> Why is the music so huh? like, so like, <laughs> romantic? You seem to be lost. Now go back to the Walmart, the only place you'll ever fit the part. That's all you got? That was pretty whiny. Get your small ass out of here, Mr. Tiny Heine. <laughs> How'd you both pick Walmart? I don't know. My prompt was name, a, name an awful place. Oh, my uh, was the place, and I picked Walmart. <laughs> I think mine was beta out of those two, by the way, <laughs> chat, right? Shut up, tiny hiney. Dude, I'm missing person's yeah, flyer, bro. That means you're dead. I killed you. Literally, you can't win if you're dead. <laughs> it could also mean he's just lost. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, get lost. What oh, the fuck? Dude, the oh. battle's over. Weapons hot. No, I'm taking it. I'm taking it to the street, dude. Just meet me outside Apollo. I got your address. I'm gonna Uber right now. <laughs> he does have my address. Uber jet. Uber boats. We pulling up to a fight in an Uber. Just turn on the left. Just turn on the left. I think I see them. Have a good weekend, lads. Later. You guys have a great weekend. Yeah, bye, bye. bye bye. Bye bye. Let me make sure. Oh, hello. Bye. <laughs> Let me make sure my wife is ready to stream. Listen, I'm not saying that like being itchy is pleasant because I got all this cat hair flying around. I would much rather be itchy than uncontrollably hungry. Not to mention ringing ears was like eight hours of ringing ears was considered less, it was considered worse then eight hours of uncontrollable hungry, Un uncontrollable hunger. You can go to bed easy. It says uncontrollable hunger. I saw people in chat saying like, oh, I've gone to bed hungry before. Yeah, okay. Everybody has on planet Earth, but not uncontrollably so. And then make it make sense. People were also like, I have tinnitus. You don't know how bad it is. I thought if you had it, it couldn't be that bad. That's the hunger logic, man. Listen, I'm just saying. It's easier to ignore itchiness than it is to ignore starvation.
You're already arguing from the back foot, by the way, because the third worst thing was voted in as allergic to water, which would like boil you alive from the inside out. Your body would tear itself apart. And then people were like, nah, man, itchy. Itchiness is worse than that. Have you ever been really itchy, though? Forgetting who you are is also bad. I still can't believe I got punked by the science fair answer. I don't think a volcano is a good science fair project, but it seems, I think that if you make a volcano, you win like third place. I, my impression of the volcano was like, if you make one, you're giving up on your chance to win the science fair, but you're locking in like a better than participation medal. It's so overdone. Bro, it's a sixth grade. You're not going to be like, you know, discovering the Higgs boson. What do you want him to do? <laughs> like, that's why mine was do plants crave Pepsi. I fed him. There was one plant that had water. That's called the control in science. There was one plant that's called that uh, drank milk. And there was one plant that drank like, I don't know. I think it was soda. Spoilers, the water plant did pretty well. Um, the milk plant got fucking moldy and disgusting and like exploded. And then the Pepsi plant was like doing its best. It was clinging to life, but it was alive. If you ever do this experiment or if your kids do this experiment, do not do milk. Choose a different beverage. It is going to stink up your house. So was your hypothesis correct? My, my hypothesis, this is how I, I knew I was destined for a life of science. My hypothesis is that plants like water the most out of any liquid they could be drinking. And that was proven to be right, which means I'm a good scientist. Because if plants liked Pepsi more than water, then the clouds would have evolved to rain soda. It's that simple. Lucid Dream Startup says you can work in your sleep. Malf, what are you talking? Is that a, a real, news headline, real news headline? I hate when I get something stuck in my throat, so I repeat myself like Joe Biden. Isn't she? The Brazil, Brazil's really hot right now. Harder to get tickets to than the Renaissance tour. Is that? Uh, which one is? Where's Britney right now? Mouth citation. He found it. Okay. Lucid Dream Startup says engineers can write code in their sleep. Work may never be the same. Lucid Dream Startup. You don't have to worry about this because like all startups, it's fake. It's always like big ideas and then... We're going to have to walk that back a little bit. The more money they get, the less ambitious the project becomes. And then eventually it's just like a to-do list app that costs $9.99 a month. The earth was a startup once. Dude, that's kind of deep. You should take that shit to Silicon Valley. <laughs> Me with sleep apnea. My coworkers keep wondering why I clock out every five minutes. Making the Corey sound. The Big Bang must have been loud as fuck, right? <laughs> like, if you were standing next to the Big Bang when it happened, would you go deaf? I don't know how much longer I have to keep spinning in the dialogue for, man. You would be obliterated by a dense cloud of matter hurtling towards you at faster than the speed of light. Yeah, but like, if you survived, would your ears be okay? Where would you be standing? Did I stutter? You would be standing next to the Big Bang. What does that mean? Well, if you imagine the Big Bang as a ball sitting inside of a, a large rectangular prism, I would place myself adjacent to the ball. And I'd probably put some ear protection on because you only get one pair of ears, man. Plus two, it's going to be loud as hell. It would definitely be loud, man. Can you imagine how mad the Big Bang would be after it did that? And then you waited like a trillion years, and then you were like, can you repeat that? <laughs> Sorry, did you say something? 
Big Bang steaming, Urgh, stomping its feet. Nom, 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 nom. I just can't with you right now. You're incorrigible. All right, Kate is live. I'm going to send you over there. <laughs> Enjoy your evening, and I'll see you on Monday. Goodbye. Are you going to play Gotham Knights? Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, whoop. Tell me more, tell me more. Are you in Arkham yet? Tell me more, tell me more. Is the Riddler a threat? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ah, and oh, those got them now.